Welcome back. Autumn is almost here and we've got the perfect dish to kick off the season. And this morning, Olivia DeLeon joins us to show us how to make this delicious recipe. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Well, as you know, it is Pumpkin Festival weekend yes, over in Morton. That's right. So that means it is officially fall, I like to there say. You go. So it is time for all things pumpkin. So today we are making a savory pumpkin crescent roll. All right. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and get started. Super easy to make. Um, so what I did at home already for us is I made some caramelized onion. Okay. So all I did was add a half a tea tablespoon of olive oil to a little saucepan. Okay. I heated that and then I added uh, about a third of a cup of just chopped yellow onion uh, and then cooked that for about 10 to 12 minutes till it was nice and brown gotcha. like this. So you can go ahead and add that to our bowl here. Okay, sure so we are going to start making our filling essentially for our crescent rolls. Alrighty. Yeah, so next you can go ahead and add the pumpkin. Okay. So today we are using, and you can just use oh. that spoon. Oh, it fell I right gonna, out. I was gonna show everybody and it just was like, nope, not today. Yeah, so today <laughs> this is 100% pure pumpkin. All right. So that just means that's the only thing in the can is the pumpkin. And then we have our shredded Gouda cheese, about a third of a cup. And I just like the extra flavor it adds, but if you don't have a shredded Gouda, you could do Havarti, Gruyere, all sorts of stuff. They yeah. all work really well. Now we can start adding in some of our seasonings. Yes. So we have, you can just add the black pepper there. We're using about an eighth of a teaspoon. Perfect. And then we have um, about a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. Alrighty. Now, if you wanted to use fresh garlic, you totally could do that too. I would just maybe cook it in with the onions first. Sure, sure. Just so it's not too pungent right. <laughs> of a smell. <laughs> And then we have our fresh thyme leaves. Have you cooked with fresh thyme before? Not with fresh thyme. Okay. Nope. This is one of my favorite ingredients. It's often used in a lot of those savory comfort foods is what I usually associate it with, but okay. it can be very versatile. So today we're using fresh thyme leaves. So what I wanted to show y'all is how, if you do choose to use fresh thyme leaves, it they ha they're just so small. So it, an easy way that I like to use to take them off of the stem they come on is just to kind of pull in the opposite direction of which way they're going. So you could do that. Okay. And then you could also do uh, kind of the same thing, but you can use a mesh strainer. Oh. And then just poke the bottom of the stem through the bottom there. And, and then the leaves just come off like that. And Very then it's cool. nice that they all kind of stay in there. Yeah, yeah. I love that. So nice that's hat. two different, yes, that's two different ways you could do that. Um, so now what you can do is just mix that all together. And Alrighty. you can, yep, you can use that or the spoon. I know my, I got my oh, pumpkin <laughs> under my fingernails now. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, nice snack for later. There, there you go, save it for later. <laughs> now, this is something I like to do with this recipe, especially if you're really short on time right before you need to make it, you can make this part ahead of time too. Okay. And then that also gives it some time to for those flavors to come together as well. So now what we're gonna do is put about a, ta or a teaspoon of our mixture, and you can just dollop it in the center of our triangles here. Here. Alrighty. And what I have is our reduced fat crescent rolls. So the reduced fat version has about 30% less saturated fat in comparison to the regular version of the crescent rolls. So that's not only helping us lower calories if that's something you're looking to do, mm -hmm. but it's also helping us lower our saturated fat intake. And that just helps us, of course, promote our heart health as and well. It's always great when you can come up with recipes that are not only tasting good, but they're also good for you. Yes, definitely. And this um, definitely has all those different flavors. You've got the onion, the thyme. So there, it's definitely not short on flavor. No. That's for sure. So next, what we're going to do once we have our triangles all filled, we are just going to take, you can either use your teaspoon or you could take the back of your a regular spoon and just kind of spread it evenly throughout the crescent roll. Alrighty. And we just want to make sure it's evenly spread just so the crescent roll cooks up properly. Mm -hmm. And then we'll start to roll them up. And it's just as easy as that. And then what we would do is cook these for about 10 to 12 minutes at 375. Just And then just kind of looking to see if they're turning brown on top. All right, if you wouldn't mind rolling one up real quick yeah. so they can see what it looks we'll like just before go they like put this in the oven. Here. And there you go. Look at that. Yeah. Super easy peasy, everybody. 
and does not take long. Obviously, we did this in like less very than five quick. minutes. Very quick. Yes, very right. quick. Very good. And you can see the finished product over here too. It smells really, really good. But I want to thank you so much, Olivia, of for joining course. me this morning. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Of course. As always, we'll share these details on our website, CF Route, so you can make it right at home.